Hey, Mr. Parker here to review a new one from Aero Video USA, and this is the Giallo classic, What Have You Done to Solange? Uh, I remember seeing this movie actually back when the Shriek Show released it, and what, uh, what drug me in to see this movie was the magnificent trailer, What Have You Done to Solange? Stuck with me forever. So when I actually first saw this movie when I was 16, I was actually, uh, under the age of the girls in the movie who were targeted as victims. So it was kind of like a completely different experience into the movie. Essentially what we have here is a killer targeting these uh, girls that go to this uh, kind of like a boarding school. Uh, and Fabio Testi is uh, one of the teachers. He's having an affair uh, with one of the, the, the students. And, uh, you know, his uh, wife, who's uh, kind of cold and distance, also, distant, also teaches there. So uh, there's a lot of turmoil going on. He's obviously a suspect. Uh, but uh, what have you done to Solange? Uh, actually, is probably one of the most sleazy, but also again, it, it doesn't a sleazy jealous. It's just really kind of dirty, to be honest. Just the premise and everything like that. Uh, and, but the mystery is actually there, and I think the mystery is pretty good. Uh, you can't really guess who the killer is. Uh, and in true Italian fashion, you know, a lot of the guys are kind of, you know, though, well, Fabio Testi's not a, a very likable main character. I mean, he's kind of cheating on his, he is cheating on his wife with a schoolgirl and uh, things like that. And when people die, he doesn't show much emotion. Uh, and he's just very not likable. Uh, the, the actor originally started off as a stuntman, and it was in several movies from, uh, I believe, Four of the Apocalypse by Fulci, The Big Racket, tons and tons of stuff. So you guys will recognize him. Uh, you also recognize a bunch of the other cast who are in a slew of other genre movies, and even Kamel Keaton, who would later on go and I spit on your grave. Uh, the Blu-ray looks fantastic, and I did see the movie in a completely different light, like I said. Like, originally when I saw it, I was younger than the girls being murdered. Now I'm, like, the age of the teachers, and I'm starting to think, wow, this movie is a lot dirtier than I remember. Uh, the score was still hauntingly beautiful. It, I believe it's Ennio Morricone or Morricone score. I always loved his scores. I think everybody does. And uh, Italy or Italian films usually bring the Magnifico score. And uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, the score brings the movie a long way. It adds a little classiness to the, the nastiness. Uh, there's a, a kind of an insight, uh, in-depth look at the, the trilogy of School Girls in uh, Peril uh, trilogy, which is uh, the second one, What Have You Done to Our Daughters? And uh, the third one, uh, what is it? School Girl Killer, a.k.a. Rings of Fear, a.k.a. Enigma Rossi. There's, so there's so many titles for that movie. Uh, there's a nice little documentary about it, and this guy goes in-depth about everything and really opened my eyes uh, about what have you done to Solange. It opened up so many, so many layers to the film. And then I started watching the cast and crew interviews, and uh, I can't remember the actress's name off the top of my head, but she played the guy's wife, uh, Fabio Tessi's wife, and she just tears this movie to shreds. And I, I, I spotted some of that stuff in there as well, so you're kind of like, uh, is it this masterpiece that this one guy goes in, or is it really just kind of crummy, dirty exploitation? Shinjalo, and definitely it's somewhere in between. I mean, it is a, it is a, I think it's one of the better giallos just because, uh, you know, it, the, the twist is good and the reveal is really kind of devastating, like a dead man shoes reveal where you're like, Ooh, that is, that is rough stuff. Uh, the movie is one of the meanest, I'd say most mean spirited giallos. Uh, it's not gratuitously gory or anything, but the killer decides to plant his weapon in a very horrific place. Uh, I'd say the acting, you know, the it ranges a lot of it's dubbed, but like I said, Fabio Testi doesn't really show much emotion on his face in this one. But uh, if you guys are familiar with what have you done to Solange, I say really check this release out. Uh, it looks beautiful. It sounds good. There's lots of great features on there. I mean, that in-depth look at the movie was beautiful. Uh, interview with Fabio Testi, who kind of keeps it professional and goes throughout his career and talks about lots of things. Very interesting stuff here. Uh, I, I didn't get a chance to listen to the commentary or the interview with the producer. But uh, yeah, the movie... Uh, as a reversible cover. It's a it's a nice little release from a movie that, uh, you know, a lot of people probably would never see as a release. Uh, I think there's a booklet in here as well. Regardless, I, I, I was a bigger fan of the movie before I rewatched it. I still enjoy the movie and I appreciate it. I love the score. Uh, it's it's, it's kind of cool to see Kamel Keaton in something else before. But uh, yeah, I'd say check uh, What Have You Done to Solange out. 
uh, if you're into giallos. And I'm sure if you're into giallos, you are very familiar with this film. And uh, I think that this is a really nice release for a movie like this. Uh, but I'm Mr. Parka. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I'd say check this one out. If you love giallos, you love sleazy, mean-spirited stuff, <laughs> I'd say this one's a must. Also has a very nice story arc, though, the mystery in it. Uh, and the reveal is pretty rough. And I couldn't guess who the killer is the first time I saw it. But uh, Mr. Parka, thank you very much for watching and have a good one. A girl. I was just using her as an example. Who is Solange? What happened to her? Nothing. What have you done to Solange? Well, she killed him the same way as the others. Have you any clues, Inspector? This is the third murder in three weeks. Is it true, sir, that Rosania is having an affair with Colonel Pickles? He just isn't a killer, and far less a sex maniac. Those girls know what it's all about, for sure. Only 16 and surrounded by secret boyfriends, petty jealousies, orgies, and lesbian games. What have you done to Solange? What's all this about a priest? One of Elizabeth's ideas. She kept having nightmares about the murder. Reliving it over and over again. <gasps> there! What have you done to Solange? I know nothing about Mr. Rosani's relations with the Seckles girl and the other two. Nobody has said there was a relationship with the other two girls. Right? Oh, it seems rather evident. I see. Have you done to Solange?